Hey guys, this is MacGuys101, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to kind of replace this sky with this sky. This is a nice picture, of course, but uh, it's kind of boring. There's just a bunch of sand here. So I, and I like this kind of gravel and grass over here more. So uh, we're going to be using Photoshop today. So I'm going to copy this image and just uh, make a new file with the clipboard dimensions. So after pasting it in, we'll start the uh, the process of cutting out the sky. So for this, uh, the easiest way to do this, and because it's pretty much one color, you can just use the magic wand tool. And that'll do a pretty good selection of what we want. But to uh, clean up the edges a bit, we're going to use the quick selection tool, which is uh, in the same uh, toolbox. And uh, we're just going to kind of drag around the edges where it doesn't look very very clean. And uh, so there, it's... Uh, selected properly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the uh, create layer mask tool and what this is going to do is it's going to cut out this area and kind of it's going to delete the bottom area just because this is selected. So the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I'll be able to change it later. So right now this is not what we want but we we can easily select this layer mask as you can see it's white and black we can just hit command I to invert the colors and what that's going to do is it's going to invert essentially the the sky and select only this bottom area. And so this is very useful because uh, you can just so you can create a layer mask and go back to it later. You can even select the layer mask, disable it, uh, add mask to selection, which basically just selects that area. So the next part, of course, is uh, we're going to drop in the other sky. I'm going to copy this and uh, it's going to be on top. I'm just going to drag it to the bottom and uh, scale it. That's uh, Command T. So once you've got it scaled to a nice size, uh, I mean it looks pretty good, but I think we're going to do a bit of a uh, bit of editing here. So because, of course, we used a vector layer mask or a non-destructive mask, we can actually change and feather this this um the border between the sky and the the water because right now it looks a bit kind of unnatural we're going to feather it a little bit so to do that there's two ways you could do this one is using the blur tool and going into this layer mask and blurring the edges but because that's a bit slow instead i'm going to use the eraser tool and what this is going to let me do is uh I'll, if i just turn the get a nice brush size keep the hardness down to zero, I'll be able to just kind of smooth it out, smooth this out, make it kind of uh, maybe a little bit jagged, not so straight, so it looks more like a realistic uh, horizon. So uh, that looks pretty good, um, but I think something's still missing, and, uh, and that's what we're going to do in the next video. Uh, we're going to be talking about color correction and making sure that the colors fit with this. So this looks pretty good, but Again, if you can see the blue over here looks it doesn't compare to the blue of the, the bottom and this the clouds are way too white. So uh thanks for watching, Mac is one one. Subscribe and uh goodbye.